Hi, this is Gus, and welcome to this exciting tutorial about the new Empire version 2.0. I'm pretty sure you're curious and want to learn how to use it. In this lesson, I will walk you through and show you all the tricks so you can take advantage of this tool as a Red Team member or as a penetration tester. Let me show you the workflow that I'll be using for this demo. First, you will see how to install Empire. Second, you will learn how to create a listener. If you don't know what a listener means, in fact, its name explains what it does. The listener listens for incoming connections from infected victims. Next, I will show you how to create a PowerShell script to send it to your victim using the launcher in Empire. Now, when the victim executes the script, he will be connected back to the listener. And this will create an agent representing the victim machine. All we need at this stage is to interact with the agent to escalate our privileges. So we can become some sort of an admin. Why? I will keep the fun for the demo. So you see what you can do with admin privileges. Finally, I will make sure that you learn how to create a persistent backdoor to go back anytime you want and connect to the victim host. Before I start this demo, I want to let you know that this video tutorial is available on my blog with all the common details. Check the description below for the blog article URL. Let's get started. First, open your browser and go to the Empire GitHub website. Then click on this button to copy the URL to your clipboard. Now go and open your terminal window and execute git clone and paste the URL. This will download the application to my home root directory in Kali Linux. Let's explore this new folder. If I check the contents of the Empire directory, I can see the setup folder. Now I'm pretty sure that our installer is somewhere here. Yes, here you go. It's the install.sh file. Let's give it the right permission and execute it to install Empire. The installation is going to take some time, folks. I will pause this video and come back later when it's finished. I'm back. Here the installer is asking me to enter a password or to press enter for random password generation. In my case, I'm going to press enter. Now I will go up one directory to execute the Empire application. But before doing this, I will give it the right permission as well. Perfect. It's time to execute this monster. Voila. This is the Empire home screen. As you can see, we have 267 modules ready to be used and no listeners or agents are available at this moment and that's normal because it's a fresh copy of empire let's start by creating a listener go ahead and type listeners and you will get this message no listeners currently active wait this is not an error message Check the prompt here. It changed to the listener's mode. I will choose 
the HTTP based listener. So type use listener space HTTP and the prompt will change to the HTTP listener. All right, it's time to execute it. Amazing, we have a listener active at this moment. Here in the details, it shows that the name of this listener is HTTP and it's listening on port 80 on my Kali Linux machine. At this stage, we need to create a launcher. Just type it in the terminal window and you get this message. By analyzing it, the language will be PowerShell and the listener name is HTTP. Very, very good. Let's copy this PowerShell script to the clipboard so it will be ready for our Windows 7 machine. I will open a new terminal window and use the remote desktop to connect remotely to the victim machine. Tag U is for the username, tag P is for the password, and finally the IP address of the Windows 7 host. Here, let's open a command prompt and paste the PowerShell script. Beautiful. Let's go back to the Empire terminal window. Check this out. We have an agent active. I'm so excited. Are you? Type back to go to the main window. And here type agents to list the available agents. We can see all the information needed to represent our Windows 7 machine. But the name is very random. So I will rename it to something more meaningful. Type rename followed by the first two letters, then press tab and it will recognize it. After that, type the desired new name. Let's see the agents. Oops, I always make this mistake. To list the agents at this stage, you should type list. And here you go, our new name for the Windows 7 agent. Let's try to interact with this agent and then type info to see the necessary information about it. Pay attention to the high integrity is set to zero. That's because we are not admin yet. The next step is to elevate our privileges. We can transform into admin in a single comment and it's called bypass UAC followed by the name of the listener. Wait for a couple of seconds and you should see some text coming into your way. And here you go, we have a new agent. Press enter and go back, then execute the list command to see the new agent. Check the difference here. We have an asterisk before the username. That means this is a power user. Let's rename this new agent. All right, I will start interacting with the admin agent and I will check its info. Pay attention to the high integrity. It's one instead of zero this time. Perfect. Let's run Mimikatz to extract the clear text passwords. But first, type cred to list all the clear text passwords. It shows that it's empty. We don't have any passwords available at this moment. Don't worry. After running Mimikatz, this table will be filled up with data. Next, run Mimikatz and wait for a few seconds to finish its execution. Awesome, let's see the credentials list. And here you go, all the passwords are extracted for us. 
It's time for our final stage. And it's the backdoor persistence. If you're ever lost in this application, you have always the chance to type the help command to see the available choices. Now, to create a persistent backdoor, I will use the module SH tasks in Empire. Let's check its options. I will set the on logon to true because I want it to execute every time the victim user log into his machine and set the listener name to HTTP. Finally, let's execute it. Now we have a persistent backdoor with a big success. Thank you for watching this tutorial and I hope that you liked it.